Thank you, Chairperson. Sorry? No, I'm saying before I come in, continue. Okay. Thank you, Chairperson. Chairperson, um, I, I absolutely agree with Honorable Mashwale about uh, the, the things that he wants to discuss. I have no problem with those being uh, brought onto the program, but we do have a very full program for the first term. So can I propose, and it, it, this program has been accepted already by this committee. Um, so what I would suggest is that we, we, we highlight those and prioritize them for early in the second term, uh, as soon as we come back from, from the recess uh, constituency period in uh, April. Thank you, Chair. Okay, thank you, Honorable Mayor. Honorable members, let me deal with the, with the first issue that uh, Honorable Masaule has raised. Um, I think we, and, and, and I think I don't think uh, it, it's, a, it's a train smash. Um, the, the point, I, I'm not sure, I did say to other members, I'm trying to check now, that they must please check. Um, yeah, I think there was a presentation by ESCOM, which uh, if I'm not mistaken, if there's any member who watched it, uh, was talking about the question of tariffs and uh, why there were gonna be tariff hikes and so forth and amongst other things. It was more to do with the issue. I'm just saying in general terms, it was more to do with the issue of the carbon tax and related issues. So I don't think it's a big deal. I agree, uh, we will have to give it priority on the first term, on the second term, ne? yeah. When we deal with the second term, but if we find space, uh, for instance, it might be one of the things we might consider in the event we are facing challenges on the uh, on the outstanding um, on the outstanding um, uh, 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 audit outcomes of the specific entities, we may have to take that issue into consideration. But as USA was speaking, the second part, which I think it's important to deal with, the. The, 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 the question that I think I must quickly answer, it's, it's not that difficult, is the one that uh, Honorable Volmaran is saying, this is our suggested date, and the reason we are taking, and we want to be transparent and open, is that sometimes when you put in a Monday, a Monday sometimes is taken by all political parties as constituency period. So if we take weekends, Weekends are not necessarily that tight They're in terms of the application and oversight, conducting oversight. They are much more easier. It's not two days, it's three days. It means it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The difference is that we won't even be traveling outside Cape Town. We will be within the vicinity of Cape Town. We won't be asking for accommodation. So it's something that uh, even voluntarily we could be doing, but because of the work that we are supposed to do, as a collective of a committee. That's why we, we choose that. We will make the application. We are not aware of any, as I'm sitting here, even from the staff, of any compulsory activity that can make it difficult. But obviously we have to apply and get a response on that. On the issue that uh, uh, Honorable uh, Marshall was raising, I want so that I can quickly move I want us to make two considerations. The first one, which is what I think is a problem. Uh, the first one, if you look um, on the 24th of February, that's where I'm, I'm a bit uh, concerned whether we can do this thing. It says briefing by the, the MRE on the impact of the sauna on their activities. Now, if you look at that, maybe we may have to make a reconsideration of the program. The bullet point that follows, it says briefing by the DMRE on the licensing regime, both minerals and energy. Now, <clears throat> including NERSA. Now, I'm not sure whether we can do those things in the same day. I agree, Honorable Mylan, we did adopt the program. But because of the new developments, we are trying to see with the opportunity given. 
Can we then agree that most of these issues that relate to, I'm sitting on the correspondence, you will see, there are people who have formally written to the committee, which we are gonna flag here. Can we consider those issues? And in the meantime, where we have got formal correspondence, if members agree, when we go to correspondence, send those correspondence so that the department, when it comes and make a briefing on the licensing regime, both minerals and energy, it, they can be able to respond on these issues, including the manner in which the Sunrat system is working. I think that that impact, then uh, I, if Honorable Mashaulo, you are comfortable, we can then try and zoom in to its specific offices, whether this system, isn't it vulnerable to, with, with the short of wealth DG, to possible manipulation uh, in some quarters, especially where there's high density of uh, license, license processing. Uh, if, if members are comfortable, maybe we then say, let's use that opportunity if it means then we identify each one. So it's, in my view is that it's already scheduled, but we can have it at the back of our minds. That is, that is what I, I wanted to, 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 to sponsor to, 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 to members, if we agree. Then let's look at the, like Honorable Mailem, let's put at the back of our minds the issue that uh, Honorable Mashaulo was raising as a matter that might have to be highly prioritized in the first, uh, in, the, in, the, in the second quarter of the committee work. Any take, Honorable members? I say Honorable Mashaulo and Honorable Mailem. Uh, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Uh, I just want to, to, to say probably uh, when we prioritize that issue uh, on carbon capture technology, we, we look at the uh, possibility of uh, inviting also the other two uh, um, uh, affected uh, um, uh, departments or committees, which is uh, forestry, um, environmental affairs, forestry and fisheries, as well as public enterprise. Thank you, Chair. Okay. Honorable Maila? Sorry, Chair, it was an old hand. Uh, I, I'm covered. Okay. Thank you, Honorable Members. The, the program is therefore agreed to with the proposed amendments and uh, reorganization. <laughs> Honorable yep. Malenga, did you get your place to stand on? I'm on top of my house, Chair. Good. <laughs> Chairperson, you did not respond to Honorable uh, Volmarans. That you were two days sufficient. Okay. No, yes. I did. I said, I said in, in fact, it's three. It's not two. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 26, 27, 28. You will be sleeping in our own houses, waking up and go to do the work and then come back to our house in Cape Town. The only part I said is that sometimes when you use Mondays, we, they tend to be technically difficult because they are regarded through parliament as constituency days. So we are using the three days. And then I said, we will consider including the issue of the visit to the to to of visit to Peru as also part of the visit to Milnatin on the same day. That's what we'll be going out to work on. So thirdly, I responded and I said it's still gonna be an application because we are supposed to having agreed or proposed by the committee, then we can go and make an application to uh, in, ter in terms of the normal procedures and protocols, and then we'll come back and confirm to the committee. I hope you had me on the, on the roof of your house. Yes, Chair. <laughs> okay. Honorable members, can we now go to, to the correspondence? Mr. Kotze. I'm listening, Chair. Can we go to the correspondence? 
Which one first, Chair? Anyone that you have. Okay. Um, let me just get it quickly, Chair. Very quickly. Okay. There is this start with the first one from Makua. I think there is one from Makua. I'm unable to open the letter from the speaker's office chair. My system doesn't want to open it. Uh, but only this document. The one from the speaker. Mm, I can't open that one, Chair. I can okay, only no, it's, it's, open it's, this it's, one. Yeah. Okay. Can I summarize that letter? Ah, it's not this one. No, oh. as I say, the other one I can't open with my system, Chair. I don't know what's the matter. No. But let me, let me try. Honorable members, there is a letter from the speaker dated uh, 05 January 2021, which relates to a memorandum received uh, uh, from Makua. And therefore, I think we can forward to members after this. It raises concerns. Um, and complaints relating to mining affected communities and therefore requested parliament to ensure that uh, the right of mining communities to free to free prior and informed consent is enshrined in the law. In simple terms, uh, it says they informed the hair that they have sought to engage the executive on these matters without success which is why they seek parliament's intervention. I inform the organization that I would ensure that their submission serves before your commit for it to deal with it from the perspective of its mandate. In this regard, I request the committee to update me about progress made with regards to this matter by end of February 2020. In essence, honorable members, the, there is a request that we deal with this matter. The suggestion we have is that we try and organize a meeting with the, with the organization concerns and listen to their, to their complaints and uh, we will forward the correspondence to, to yourselves as members. That is the first thing if members agree. And then um, the second one, uh, What is this one? Oh, no, it's the same one. What is the second one, Ari? Okay. The second one, it's a very long one. Written is written to me as a chairperson but also to the portfolio committee, it says, kindly note some of our concerns that we would like your office to attend and also would request the intervention of the DMRE portfolio committee. I'm sure they wanted to say PCRE portfolio committee uh, to help us to resolve the matter speedily. They have stated in simple terms, the matter is about a concern about uh, the, the mining right you will see point three, it says, when we started with our consultation process, we then received an email from DMRE Legal Services notifying us of an appeal lodged by South 32 Holdings, what, 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 what. The problem then, Honorable Member, is that when a letter is written like this, we have no choice but also to treat it in the manner that it is suggested, because if it's treated like it's written to the chairperson, it will then be, be problematic. 
that is uh, one one leg. I think it's what is this Volsec? I think that's it. Then there is a second one. Uh, it says poor service by official. Um, yes, that's the one. The complaint was lodged with the MRE Whitbank office to Mashudu Maduka around March 2020 against South 32. And its contractor, Maria and Robert Condon, we lost this complaint. Ex employees, we had the number of engagement with South 82, future TT. I don't know what is that. After we noticed that our list was no longer considered and future failed to address our concern, we escalated the matter of South 82 office. This, these are the letters, honorable members, I was then referencing. I think honorable Marshall said. He has got his own, including calls and complaints. That's why I was suggesting that can we take these letters, especially these two, and um, uh, allow them to be considered and probably send it to the department now in the meantime to respond to those complaints so that the committee can have the response also of the department. Then we try and arrange and confirm a meeting with Makua, allow them to raise, and I think because we're meeting with them for the first time, any of the issues that they want to share with the committee, and then we take it from there as a committee. Is, 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 will that be sufficient, honorable members? Sure, can, you, can you? Yeah. I see your hand up. I see the face of Honorable Mylan. Yeah, I was saying, can you repeat the last point you made? No, I'm saying, the last point I was making is saying, let we, can we work out on, risk, on, on scheduling a meeting with the two concerns organizations, Makua and the other one for women, what, what I think women, women in mining something arrange that meeting and then we'll see whether is there a date we can find and squeeze, but we start the process of interacting with them, allow them to raise the issues that they would want to share with the committee, and then we will take it from there, what, how do we handle, whether those issues fall within the scope of the committee. My, my request that we don't limit them, they just come and share all the issues they think they, think they require the attention of the committee. A person. Oh, I was still there. Honorable Marshal, you got now what I was raising. I got it and I have a, a, a view, but uh, you can carry on with Honorable Melam. I chose to okay. raise my. The Honor, Honorable Melam. Thank you, Chairperson. Chairperson, I agree with uh, your approach. I do think that we need to get the departmental position on these matters. So I think that uh, all of them should be referred to the department for a response. And once we have that response in hand, we schedule a meeting that we can then consider the departmental position as well as the, the various um, correspondences and, and uh, organizations that have raised those concerns so that we have a, a, a comprehensive picture rather than just one side of it. Thank you, Chair. Okay. Honorable Mashaule. Chair, I wanted to say that I agree with the the point you are making, the summary you are making. And uh, I'm saying as long as at the back of our mind, we know it is bigger than the two um, organizations that have written uh, formally there. Uh, so in our approach and the approach of the department must be to respond to the, the issues that uh, are similar uh, uh, that have been raised either by telephone or by SMS or by whatever, they have to do with how the licensing of uh, mining rights and permits are, are concerned. So I'm, I'm just saying in agreement with that, let us and the department be mindful that there are many out there who are, are, are facing the same issue uh, that uh, those two are raising. Thanks. That's, that's the point I was raising, and I think Honorable Mellon, we all agree, I was saying, because this one is the, from Makua and the other organization, is an instruction from the speaker, but I agree with you 100%, 
we will refer to the department to respond on this one. The point also that Honorable uh, Mashaule raises is that when we deal with the licensing regime, the department must have responded to all the concerns or the queries that have been made with regards to the complaints about the licensing system of the department. I don't want us though, Honorable Mashaule, if there is any other, although we don't have many now to limit only to mining, because we also, well, I can tell you, you do get sometimes even similar concerns or complaints with the, with the, with the energy side. So we want them to bring all those things. We will forward everything now that is in front of us so that on the date when we meet, we, they must have responded to some of these things so that we have got, and I agree, we have got a common understanding of what, what, are, what is at play and uh, we, we, we were able to take an informed decision. But the, the point on this side is that only when we have met officially with Makua, and as much as they may respond, we may then be able to say to the department, here are the issues that are raised by this organized formation of uh, communities in mining, whatever the sentence said, what is your take as a department? Because for now, it's an instruction by the speaker that we must tend, must tend, attend to them, but we will forward most definitely the whole documentation and information that the speaker has referred to us on that memorandum so that they can answer. Uh, if then we agree on that note, honorable members, uh, when is your next meeting? The next meeting is on the 23rd of February, Chair. Uh, see you on that time, honorable members. Continue to keep well. Um, continue to ensure that uh, we do our level best. We play our part. The situation is still not good out there. We want to see all of you, your colleagues, your families, uh, see them uh, 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 surviving this. The last thing I should have said, and I didn't want to say that time, you will notice that we have been working mostly with uh, Ari today. Ayanda has lost uh, her uncle, and uh, the funeral uh, is on Friday. So she couldn't be utilized. Uh, in fact, I was not even expecting her to be in the meeting, but yes, she was in the meeting, uh, but we didn't want to bother her that much about the work of the committee today as they are concentrating on the funeral at home. On that note, honorable members, thank you very much. See you on the 23rd of February. The meeting stands adjourned. Long live the chair. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>